Well, on daily business tonight, we'll talk about Middle East politics. And why about politics? Because it very much concerns the conditions of making business in the countries that we may like to sell more our products than we do right now. Uh, Middle East uh, is obviously on the top of the news since decades. Uh, right now, there is, however, a new situation. Uh, the friend of every side of this conflict is Vladimir Putin. Israelis love Vladimir Putin. Uh, Hamas, who is hunting on Israel and preparing to war, loves Vladimir Putin. Iran, who is supporting Hamas, delivering them weapons and rockets, loves Vladimir Putin, as well as Assad, as well as Egypt. Pretty Saudi much Arabia. everyone likes Vladimir Putin. And the question how long this will take. Paweł Rakowski, our Middle East correspondent, <laughs> welcome to this well, show. This is peculiar. Yeah, at least for the 7,000 years of history, of the modern history uh, in the Middle East, uh, I don't think so that we, we had uh, men like that you know, who's uh, popular among among everyone because usually like the uh, Middle East was, uh, was was kind of several empires like the Egyptian, Assyrian, whatever, whatever, Romans, Arabs, and still there were uh, there were kind of the uh, opposing sides always. Americans um, uh, and uh, had this uh, policy they in the Middle East had had their allies and they supported the allies and had the, those allies had their and enemies they were fine, uh, and Americans didn't help those enemies at all. And uh, first of all, um, and Americans were, in, were doing big investments inside inside those uh, certain regimes, like uh, uh, giving a military support, intelligence support, economical support, everything. Russia is not doing anything. I mean, like uh, it's not, um, uh, it's not, it's not um, uh, investing. It's not uh, promoting. It's not even giving visa for uh, for, for for everyone. Besides, like Russia is not a so popular destination for work and travel uh, for in the Arab world. Maybe, maybe because of the climate. I don't know. Uh, nevertheless, um, uh, Vladimir Putin. It's um, it's a politician. It's a, a leader that uh, it's popular among everyone. Now now we're just waiting that Mahmoud Abbas, president of the Palestinian Autonomy, uh, Autonomy uh, going to uh, meet with the President Putin and is going to uh, bend on his shoulder and wipe on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the, last, um, uh, the last few days um, uh, proposition from, the, from the Donald Trump because um, the Palestinians are going to reject this or at least are not, are not, are not uh, keen to accepting it and the only Vladimir Putin is the one who can understand and can, and can support in the, in the media and in the political um, Avenue. Uh, so, um, Vladimir Putin, I mean, like, uh, we have to say w one thing that uh, Vladimir Putin was the loyal one. He's the lo loyal one. I mean, uh, as far as he uh, was attached to the Assad regime, he, he kept a loyalty to, towards him. And uh, this mostly not democratical, because Middle East, it's not, uh, except for ex actually Lebanon and Israel, um, uh, the rest of the countries are not democratical. So, um, uh, so, so, so those regimes are looking on it, and, uh, and uh, the, this kind of, the, it's a philosophy close to them, because what will happen if I will have the problem? Americans uh, seem, 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 seem to change its allies and especially was always supporting like, um, let's say, kind of the pro-democratic one, uh, pro-democratic pro -demo pro um, candidates. Uh, Russia, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not this business. Uh, the, uh, the shock which, which caused after the Syrian redeployment in, the, in, in, in October, it's still, it's still in the Middle East, um, it's alive. And, uh, for example, we can see how the... You uh, refer to the withdrawal of American troops yes, from, from, the nord the, from northern uh, Syria, Kurdish yes. area and uh, the, the fact that the allies that were yeah. supported by United States, armed, trained by them, were deserted. Of course. Uh, in order for another uh, uh, U.S. ally... Uh, Turkey, especially, and this is uh, this is uh, and, the, and the shock in the Middle East after 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 this uh, this event, it's still alive, and we can see, for example, that uh, just after a couple of uh, couple of weeks afterwards, Vladimir Putin came to uh, Saudi Arabia, the, the, the most important ally, uh, American ally in the region. Yes, we, we believe that it's Israel, but um, with, but it's like a, a competition between Saudi Arabia and Israel, um, uh, and uh, and the Saudi Arabia right away accepted. 
um, several offers from the from the from the from the uh, Russia. Uh, he was he was he was he was treated like a king, like a tsar. And um, what what next? He went to the Emirates. The same situation. So so it is it is popular um, uh, belief that uh, uh, Saudi is going to buy the Russian uh, anti-aircraft systems. And that will cause troubles with America. So yeah, but, uh, but, highly, but uh, yes, but Saudi have money. How does Saudi have money or had money? This is not uh, this is not um, uh, this is not, not the question. And besides, what is Vladimir Putin? Um, uh, especially why it's so, so important, for example, for Israel because the weapons that that are coming to the Middle. Is especially to Syria and uh, or to Lebanon or to Iraq, uh, mostly come from Russia. And uh, Vladimir Putin is deciding what quality of the weapon it's on the on that market. It is his will. So this is why um, the purchase from Saudi Arabia of uh, Russian-made weapons, especially the high-grade electronic one, is uh, rather unlikely. But we will see. The situation is developing. The it question be, is how long how it, long it will take because. Um, because we have the situation that the conflict up there is not over. The conflict between Saudi Arabia and Iran is it's clearly two sides and they are going maybe not shoot to each other, but they are competing in every possible way. In every possible so way, but... Why, you know, so, here, sooner or later someone will realize, come on. But here comes the Russia. Why? Because uh, especially that uh, Saudi, Ar uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran, they know that they hate each other. It's 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 obvious. Uh, nobody tells them to love, and they know and they know their enemy. But they know as well that they stay in the region. The Americans are kind of over the sea, and this is kind That's of true. the uh, and this is kind of the perspective that we need to understand that over that, that, that now when we have a China involvement in the region, which is a great involvement in the in the region, especially after the, we can see after the uh, death of the General Soleimani, that the, that the that the that the that the thought that Americans will one day leave the region. It's, uh, it's 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 not the question how, but it's question when. when. Right, right. Especially when the United States and here comes the Russia. politicians are saying openly that with their own, they don't need Middle Eastern oil because they have their own. They are selling. They are competing on price. So why should they keep their weapons, their soldiers, their expensive equipment? in the region if they don't really profit from it. Now, uh, now after the Donald Trump, uh, during the Donald Trump uh, pre pre presidency, we have a situation that uh, Saudi Arabia is buying its American presence. It's right. buying. It's not, it's, it's not the political, it's not the kind of the friendship, it's just the basic business. We are, buying, we are buying the uh, equipment which is, uh, which is like used in the Yemen, of course the war in the Yemen is a great accumulation, but nevertheless the business goes. And uh, this is the answer of how the new world will look like on the transactional basis. Paweł Rakowski, a correspondent of Middle East, was a guest. Thank you very much for this conversation. And that was it for Poland Daily Business tonight.